these four people were attacked in their home. This war is not only our war. Radical Islam and against the evil axis that Iran will face with any nation that is willing to make this with the UAE. We would be happy to do the same who will extend a hand for peace. The world must press Iran and Hezbollah to withdraw from South Lebanon and implement UN Security Council Resolution 1701, which defined that Hezbollah will withdraw, not the Litani River. Hezbollah in Lebanon, the Houthis in Yemen and in the Red Sea, Hamas in Gaza, and the Shiite militias in Iraq and Syria. <coughs> Iran is the head of the snake. Iran is the biggest terror country in the world. The international community must stop Iran today to prevent war tomorrow. We cannot allow Iran to have nuclear weapons through which it threatens Israel, moderate regimes in the region, and European countries. Iran violates all its commitments regarding nuclear weapons, missile development, and support for terror. Our brave soldiers are fighting in Gaza in very hard conditions, and we pay a heavy price. Even so, Israel allows to supply to the Palestinians broad humanitarian aid. We have no intention to deport any of them out of the Gaza Strip. The Hamas uses schools, hospitals, mosques, and bases belonging to UNRWA for terror needs, such as connecting all their attacking tunnels they built throughout Gaza. Israel does not want to hurt any Palestinian civilians. So we move them to safe zones while the Hamas are trying to prevent it. We have no intention to rule the civilian life in Gaza after the war. I couldn't bring myself to be in a place where every time I consider traveling to Germany, we deported all Jewish settlers from all of the German government to the state of Israel. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>